Intel was always the company that led the world in its CPU technology. I mean, yeah, you had AMD there along the way, but after Intel took over, they've been unstoppable. It wasn't until recently AMD started really trying to pick back up, but no matter what, everyone knows Intel's top dog. Even myself. I mean, yeah, I bought an AMD Ryzen processor this gen, but it wasn't exactly because I knew it was better. At least, that's what I thought. See, there's been a bit of information surfacing lately about Intel CPUs, and it seems like Intel made probably one of the worst mistakes I could have ever conceived. Actually, I don't even know if this would have popped into my mind, as this is the sort of thing that ends companies, but let's back up. What did Intel do? Well, a few days ago, a data leak was discovered in Intel CPUs dating back to a potential decade. These CPUs have a design flaw that would allow malicious programs access into the most essential core components of an operating system. Any computer using any Intel CPU from even 10 years ago, Mac or Windows, could be in serious danger of losing any information you store on your computer. And this leak is so major that even someone using JavaScript could make their way into your system with almost no effort. The only way to fix this is with an operating system wide patch which is most likely going to result in a slowdown of each and every one of these processors by up to 35% depending on the CPU. Now let me try to explain this in a way that everyone can understand. If you have a 64-bit operating system, such as Windows Vista through 10, Mac OS, Linux, practically any operating system today, and you have an Intel CPU in that computer, anyone or any program can take any information they want, passwords, login keys, files, cache from a disk, anything that your computer operating system has touched. How did Intel never see this mistake in the past 10 years? I have no idea, but it seems sometime pretty soon there's going to be a major OS update for any computer using this hardware. But the part that gets me the most is the slowdown. The lowest of predictions are is a slowdown of about 5%, and the highest is around 35%, again, depending on which processor you have, which, either way, is huge. Intel has just jumped from top dog to a company that I can no longer ever recommend to anyone. Not only could their processors not even potentially compete anymore, but you have a mistake like that being baked into your CPUs for 10 years and not know? It's insane. And this is the company that worked on the first quantum computer. I mean, hell, they already built the first quantum processor. Quantum computers are supposed to be the future, the one strong way of keeping all data safe, but how am I supposed to trust Intel to even know how to do that? I loved this company, but now I just have no words. Now I want to talk about the slowdown real quick, as this might be the part that bothers gamers the most, but according to PC Gamer, the kernel patch probably won't impact the average consumer so much, and most likely won't harm the smoothness of your gameplay. However, this is still speculation, and I would definitely take that statement with a grain of salt. There's also news that Intel has known about this since November, and kept it quiet as possible to get it fixed. Either that, or they didn't want to miss a Christmas sale, but I'm not actually going to go that far with something like this. Now you may be wondering about AMD. What about them? How are they okay? And I can say that if you have an AMD processor, you're in luck. See, AMD processors are not subject to the types of attacks that the kernel table isolation features protects against. The AMD microarchitecture does not allow memory references, including speculative references. What this means is malware or programs like JavaScript would never have the high access or the privilege to even come close to the kinds of information stored within your operating system. But I am curious as to how this update will affect my processor as well. Will AMD remain untouched? I have no idea, but I do have a few more things to cover here. One thing you may be wondering about is other technology besides computers, such as tablets, phones, or even consoles. And I do have to say that for the most part, all of these are okay. See, most smartphones and tablets never use Intel. Actually, the three most popular processors are the Snapdragon, developed by Qualcomm, the Exynos, developed by Samsung, and the Tegra, developed by Nvidia. So, phones are, for the most part, okay. As for this gen's consoles, the Xbox and PlayStation have AMD architecture, and the Switch uses the Tegra X, so most of your consoles and mobile devices are going to be alright. The second thing kind of scared me a little bit though, and that was me wondering how long people knew about this. Not the company or the government, I'm not one of those kinds of guys, but this couldn't have been something we just found out. If so, we got dangerously lucky, but if not, I only wonder how many people may have been mining this data, and for how long. It would have been no problem for them to get any information they wanted from this kind of leak. I can only imagine what Intel must be thinking right now. For any other company, this would be the end, and I have no idea if that's going to be the case for them as well. I mean, as soon as I heard about this, I was so happy I made the switch to AMD this generation, and I'm wondering how many people are feeling the same way, or planning on switching after hearing this. Our safety is important. We give a lot of information to Google, to Facebook, to Microsoft and Apple, and we trust that they'll keep that information safe. All I know right now is if I had an Intel CPU, I'd be in the market for a different processor. And Intel? Sincerely, I wish you luck.